Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a Home Goods and Marshalls haul along with a Target haul. And along with that is a disclaimer as to why our special video isn't going up quite yet. We have a special project that my husband and I have been working on. In fact, all of our kids have been helping us work on it in different ways. Um, and I was really hoping to get that video up today. In fact, it's almost all the way edited right as of today that I'm filming. Um, but I can't finish filming it quite yet. And I can't explain exactly why we can't <laughs> finish editing it because I'm wanting it to be a surprise. Um, but a lot of the things that I got today at the two stores that I went to are going to be for that special project that we made and that's not going to make any sense until you see what that project is. So if you have not subscribed to our channel, go ahead and click on the subscribe button along with the, sub the little bell so you can get notified of when that video will go up. I'm hoping you're going to see this video on a Friday, hoping that it'll go up on Monday. So stick around, be patient. In the time being, I'm going to do a quick haul video on what we got at these two stores. <laughs> Okay, so one of the reasons why we went to Marshall's today was to get a baby shower gift. All of my friends are having babies, and I run out of my stockpile of baby gifts. So I had to run really quick and get something for my friend. Um, so I got these little muslin blankets. They're by the brand Chick P. And there's two blankets in there, and they were $7.99. And I don't think she's going to see this video, so um, luckily I don't think she will. So she won't know how much this is. So I got this to give to her, which was super cute. She's having a baby in the next couple weeks or a month or so. Either way, we still have summer weather coming, um, so she'll definitely be able to use these muslin blankets going into the fall. Then the second thing I couldn't resist, if you are a regular here on my channel, you know that I have an addiction to these notebooks and I don't have any of them in this color or style. So I went ahead and got one of these. They were $6.99. I like it when I find the ones that are $4.99. I don't really understand the difference because they're all the same brand and they're all the same size. If you know the difference between the, the pricing, let me know because <laughs> I get lucky when I find the ones that are $4.99. But I got another notebook and I will stash that away for future note taking. Then the next thing that I got at Home Goods was, it's actually, is it Home Goods or Marshalls? I mean, it's hard to tell in there what side you're on and whether it's from Marshalls or Home Goods. But I got this table runner and it's got a chevron print, but it's actually really, really thick. It's like a knit fabric actually like woven together really really thick really nice good quality and it's probably about six and a half feet long um, which is not quite as long as I needed to be but I couldn't find one that was long enough um, so that might be clue number one that you might get in this video as to why I bought that so I was trying to find some placemats and some other things to go along this theme idea, but I couldn't find any at Marshalls. So we headed over to Target afterward, struck out at Target in terms of the things that we were actually looking for, but as Target always does to you, you find things that you didn't know you needed. So let me just show you the things that we got while we were at Target. Um, I got some Otter Pops to go into the freezer for the kids. I always have Go-Gurts in the freezer. Um, I freeze their yogurts, and so they have a popsicle but it's actually just yogurt um, so it's a little has a little bit more nutritional value than just a frozen pile of sugar but um, when all the kids come over in the neighborhood and they're all running around wanting something cool I would the price point is better for me to just <laughs> give them an otter pop to be completely honest and for five dollars for a hundred of them that I would rather do that than anything else okay so next up um, was just something sporadic as we were walking down the aisles. I got some more hangers. Um, I got blue ones and salmon orange colored ones. They actually kind of match my dress. Um, if you have never watched my cleaning videos or my laundry routine videos, 
go ahead and do that. I'll put some playlists and iCards and all that kind of stuff down below. Um, but I color coordinate my hangers for each person in our family. So then it's really easy to determine whose clothes go to what closet when they pick them up themselves to take them up. And so we are running out of hangers. I got the last batch of blue ones I got, they all started to break on me. So I had to kind of stock up again. And now I don't have to wait till they get every single hanger back down to me before I can hang them all up. I have some extras. Okay, so next up, I was perusing Pinterest the other day, which is always probably someone's downfall if they're already too busy. <laughs> but we always have a 4th of July party with our friends and they live kind of on the outside of town. And they have a big property and they throw up fireworks at night and um, we always have a big barbecue and I always like to think of something fun and creative to take whether it's cupcakes or a cake or some kind of a theme for the 4th of July and this year I think I'm going to make corn dogs for everyone and well, not for everyone but I'm gonna make two or three or four packages worth of hot dogs worth of corn dogs so I thought I would get some skewer sticks I think there are 100 in here. I will not be making 100 hot dogs, but we use these ones for grilling anyway. So I got some skewer sticks, and then to display them at the party and take them, I got these little trays that are 4th of July themed, and there's two trays in here for $3. And I've used these in the past, and they work really great because then you have a cute display while you're going to the, the barbecues. Um, but then we can just throw it away and I don't have to worry about taking my dish home and cleaning it when everyone's tired at the end of the day. Um, we also got some underwear from my 10 year old, almost 11 year old, but we don't need to show you that. Um, then the other items, I just got some licorice and some fiber one bars. So these are actually kind of the other half of the reason why I can't bring you our special project video for another couple days. Um, my husband is going to climb at Mount Adams this weekend, um, and so he's kind of my stronghold. I need him to help me carry and um, set up the item that we made together, and he is going to be gone. He's actually working until he's going to be gone. <laughs> so there's no time for us to finish that video and get it all set up until he gets back from that little climbing trip. So I got him some little protein bars for him to go on his trip and then um, that's kind of it but um, I hope you kind of stick around my husband and I really worked for weeks and weeks and weeks on this big special project and I've wanted to make this for a couple years actually for like five years that we've been in this house I wanted to make it and it was a dream of mine before that so the fact that we have it all done and it's sitting in my garage and I can't get the video out yet. It's kind of killing me. So I really want you to stick around, subscribe, click the bell so you can come back next week and find out what that is. It's more of a, it's a long video. It's more of a tutorial, but it's something that means a lot to me. So if you stick around, come and find out what we made. In the meantime, go ahead and look at all the other videos that I've got here on my channel and I think you'll find something you'll enjoy. All right, you guys, take care. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye.